Well, right now, you know, we're in Austin Stadium, which is in Eugene, Oregon, and uh, it's where I play my college ball. You know, I'm going to give you guys a tour, so let's go. This is something that Coach Kelly, you know, came up with, win the day. You know, uh, you never can look too far ahead. You can only worry about today. And uh, I think that's some of the things, you know, we did and we believed in, you know, to make us successful. You know, uh, really can't worry about the game come Monday. You know, you got to worry about practicing, just taking one day at a time. And uh, another thing he came up with was fast, hard finishing. You know, we really believed in that and we really bought into it. And uh, I think that's why we're successful. And then right here we have the wall of the champions. I can honestly say I was a part of three of those, you know in my time here. You know, I was here, I played three years, and I won three Pac-10, Pac-12 champions, and uh, I'm proud of that. And this is where we come in, you know, we play in the games, you know, you have the fans right here, walking in here. And usually it's always pitch black, you got the little music blaring, and then you have all the fans right here. You know, you get the chills when you're walking through here. Even now, you know, I still get chills, you know, coming back out here on this field, and, you know, just feel like I'm about to get ready to play a game right now. Usually you have the Harley here, he'll go out first, on the stadium, then you hear the crowd really loud, and Coach Kelly's here, you know, holding everybody back, and you know, everybody's ready to play by now, you know, you know, it's time to go once uh, you get right here. And then this is something we believe in right here, you know, every time we come through this tunnel, you gotta reach up here. You can hear that, you gotta win the day. You know, uh, once you're here, you know, uh, everything you did all week, you know, uh, you gotta be ready to play now. And the most important part of all, the stadium. Autzen Stadium, probably one of the loudest stadiums, no matter what sport it is, you know, that I've ever been in. You know, you come in here, all the fans here, it's time to play. Uh, I remember playing Stanford, you know, uh, they were four, we were five, and uh, they're on this sideline, and we're on that sideline, and uh, end of the game, you know, a uh, big time game, uh, we're up by seven. Uh, we're just trying to run the ball to get the clock down and, uh, you know, get out of here with a W, and uh, it's third, and maybe 11, and uh, they gave me the ball. I think I'm about right here. You know, I see a seam open up and gone. You know, it's a touchdown run, and look over at the stands. You know, uh, everybody's going crazy. Uh, I think it was actually the year, you know, uh, I was up for the Heisman. You know, it was an unbelievable feeling, big time game, and uh, I just remember, you know, icing them, you know, with that run. You know, it just stands out to me. Uh, probably one of the best runs I had, you know, just at the end of the game and uh, just trying to win. Well, we just left the stadium, uh, the great Austin Stadium, you know, where I played my college ball. And uh, now we're going into the Casanova Center, you know, uh, locker room, uh, training staff is in here, you know, everything's in here, you know, and uh, let me give you a tour of that. My man, Coach Radcliffe's office, one of my favorite coaches, you know, he, uh, he's my track coach, you know, and uh, kept me in shape. And then he was my weight room coach, too, so uh, he's a great guy, you know, and uh, Tremendous guy and uh, just a good guy to have in your corner, you know, at all times. And uh, that's what all went down, you know. Kept me all flexible and uh, kept me fit, you know, and uh, I enjoy being in here. You know, when I was here at Oregon, you know, we did a lot of flexibility stuff. You know, uh, I think uh, it went along with the sign. You know, we wanted to be faster than everybody else. You know, uh, we didn't do a lot of heavy, heavy lifting, but, you know, uh, we maintained and, you know, we stayed fit. You know, everybody on the team is going to see it. Everybody's really fit and uh, might not be the biggest guys you've seen, but, uh, we were more conditioned, you know, we can play longer, you know, we play the whole game and uh, probably play a game after that, you know, and uh, that's one of the things I pride myself on, you know, if someone says, oh man, he looks really fast, well, I might be, but I'm really conditioned, you know, I'm going to be as fast as I am first carry as it is, you know, uh, 20 carry, you know, and uh, first quarter, you know, versus fourth quarter, and uh, I think a lot of that comes from, you know, the Coach Ratcliffe, you know, he did a great job getting everybody ready for that and uh, staying in shape. It's me right here, squat rack. That's where it all went down for me. You know, I'm already a short guy, so I believe having a strong base, you know, was uh, credited for my success. And uh, stay strong. Uh, I think it kept me he uh, healthy for the most part, and uh, I enjoy this lift. Oh, it was intense. You know, it was competitive. You know, everybody wanted to be the strongest guy. You know, uh, my last year here, I was the second strongest on the team, pound for pound. And uh, I think my whole lift came from this. So uh, I enjoy it. You know, I think I squatted like 535. And uh, a lot of that came from Coach Rat, you know, and, uh, and my teammates, you know, pushing me, you know, to be the best that I can be. And, uh, you know, even when I was over here lifting and uh, trying to max out, they were always around me, you know, uh, clapping me up and uh, wanting me to get it. As everybody know, you know, one of my closest friends was Kenyon. Kenyon would not go over there. Kenyon was always here, looking in the mirror, getting the curls for the girls, 
he really believed in that. And uh, I think if you see him now, you know he looks all jacked up top. But down low, you know, he got to get on the squat rack. So uh, we make this, we got to send it to him. You know, I gave him a shout out. This is for Kenyon and the curls right here. This is for you. Now we're in the training room. So before games, you know, I was always in here. I feel like my legs are always tight. So I used to come in here and get uh, some hot stuff on my legs so I can stay loose. You know, sometimes at work, you know, it gets kind of cold and uh, I always wanted to stay warm, no matter what it was. And uh, just laying here, really I was laying here because I wanted to watch some games and relax, to be honest. But uh, that's over now, so I can say that. And you know, you always have some games on in here, you know, watching some games before you play. And uh, you know, since we're on the, the West Coast, you know, back on the East Coast, games were going on at 9, 10 o'clock in our morning. You know, it's 12 over there, so uh, I was here watching games. This is the worst thing that I didn't like to do. Cold tub. I hated it. I did not like to get in cold water, but it helps you. You know, it helps you recover and uh, it keeps you fresh. And uh, after you do it, you know, you feel really good. But mentally, I did not like doing that because it is super cold. You can feel it. Over here, you have uh, underwater treadmills. So if you can't go outside and run or if you're injured, you know, uh, you can come in here and run. This is my life. And then when I was a little freshman, I was up there. I had to walk down the stairs. And uh, yeah, this is where everybody was hanging out, you know. Uh, did a lot of wrestling right here, you know, before meetings. So right here, you got TVs. You know, and uh, before games, I'll be hanging out. Everybody be all tensed up. And I'll be right here, just chilling. Relax, messing with Kenya, you know. Uh, I think me and Kenya are probably the most childish people before a game ever. You know, uh, once we're in that field, you know, we're serious. But, you know, before we go out there, you know, we was always just relaxed. You know, we was always chill, you know, didn't really think about it. And uh, I think a big credit goes to them, you know, uh, the way we practice. You know, we practice hard throughout the week, you know, so we're confident. You know, we're confident we're going to go out there and compete hard, you know. and. Uh, you don't gotta be all up tight. You know, that's one of the things I believe in. Just stay loose and uh, it's a game. You know, go out there and have fun. And, uh, you know, we're ready. You know, we just were chilling out in here. Right now, you know, we're upstairs and uh, checking out some of the trophies. You know, you have softball, you have track and field, you got basketball. And then uh, if you come down here, you have football. It's 1958. Turn them over the roses. Hmm. Then you come up here, then you have the Fiesta Bowl in 2002. Anytime you can come to a program and, uh, you know, go to a BCS game. I didn't even really understand the whole BCS thing until I got here. You know, I, I knew if you make it to a BCS game, I mean, you're good. So uh, once I got here, you know, went to the Rose Bowl my, my uh, freshman year, and uh, I realized, you know, that it is positive. You know, you want to try to get back there. You want to be the best and uh, play against the best. Rose Bowl trophy is always going to stay the same. You know, it's just a, it's a tradition thing, you know. Yeah, it doesn't look like the Fiesta Bowl trophy. It just looks like that, and uh, it's nice. You know, I really enjoy just a simple, basic trophy. You know, Rose Bowl has more tradition than any other game, BCS game out there, period. You know, it's just a lot of tradition in that game, and I'm happy, you know, to be a part of that win. Well, we're here now, back where we started at. Uh, Showed you guys the stadium, locker room, uh, training, and uh, we're gonna roll now. And uh, this is it. This concludes the visit here.